Hey everyone, are you struggling to communicate with your spouse? Are you getting frustrated? Did you know men and women have very different approaches to communication? We're going to find out in this video all the different ways that we are so messed up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jay, this is Krista, say I do forever coming at you with Book Friday on Saturday yep. because of Thanksgiving. Yep, Thanksgiving kind of threw us off a little bit. Just a little bit, that's okay. <laughs> so we are going over Men Are Like Waffles, Women Are Like Spaghetti. This is week two, we're on chapter two and it's about communication. Uh, we've read and gone through ours and discussed it and I really think that this has a key that can turn your entire marriage around. Yeah. I really believe it. This had some important stuff. And in fact, as we were reading it, I was realizing that <laughs> we've been screwing up communicating lately. And we haven't been able to do it right. So I'm going to implement some of these new techniques. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's a grand what'd idea. What do you think? I I think it had a lot of funny stuff too in it. Um, let me get to. Oh, that was it. Where does it go? <laughs> no. So, the what, one of the funny parts to me is where it says a common complaint for men is that their wives ramble on, and on, and on, and on. Why do you think that's funny? Seemingly with no point. Let's talk about that. Then, I'm not finished yet. <laughs> and then it says, because they cannot figure out where the conversation is going, they feel powerless to do anything about it. A sense of failure sets in, and he concludes, his wife is unreasonable and unable to think through issues. Okay. I think it's funny. So let's discuss this. Why do you, Go ahead. Why do you feel that way? <laughs> <laughs> well, let's just say over the years, if we're having a conversation, I'd like to be in the conversation box about a certain topic that we're starting to talk about or that we started to talk about, not go from that to all the boxes connected to that box and then all the boxes connected to those boxes and then all the boxes. Con I mean, she's she's. It's like a ripple effect in the water. You throw a rock and it goes. <laughs> That's what it feels like sometimes. Yeah. It's, so it's like you're you're wanting to talk about, say, okay, here's a perfect example. You want to talk about the kids. Let's be in the kids box and talk about our kids. You know, who's having what struggles? You know, how are they doing? Are they doing good? You know, have you heard from whoever lately? And then if you can't go from that into, well, you know, I talked to Lynn yesterday and it's like, we're in this box. Where are you over there now? <laughs> okay, so let's discuss it for those who haven't read the chapter. If you get a chance to read this chapter, please do. Please it, do. It will help your marriage incredibly. Yep. And it had some really good stuff and we can't cover it all. So we're going to just hit some highlights and some yeah. stuff that we thought was really important. So basically men and women have completely different uh, kind of approaches to communication. Beca sticking with the men are waffles, women are like spaghetti. Men have different boxes for different things. And so when yep. a man, uh, picks up a conversation is what they're saying. Um, mm -hmm. The man also likes to problem solve. So if he's bringing up something like finances, then he feels like we need to solve that financial problem. The woman then immediately sees, wow, well, if we're going to solve that financial problem, we probably need to uh, talk about the kids because, you know, we've been spending money on them. And we also need to talk about the neighbors because, you know, we've been spending money there or I'm just doing an example. So the it woman, goes on to solving the problems in the kids box to solving the world's problems. And yeah. it doesn't have to get to that point. So women see that everything is connected to everything. So like if you're having one issue here, there's multiple roots to that. But right. the but when you then bring up women, this is your advice, when you bring up the next box situation that goes with that, because we all know it all goes together, 
they think now there's a new problem. Now I've got two problems to solve. And then when you bring up the next uh, box issue, because it might be work-related, because that's kind of connected to finances, but to the men, it's not connected. It's in a different box. And now the stress level has so just now we got went three. up and up, and, and now we're at the third level of stress. Yes. Or frustration, or you're throwing too many problems trying to solve all this stuff in one conversation in one box. You've just jumped and hopped into other boxes, and we're talking about the stuff in this yeah. box. Yeah. So the problem is, and I'm going to say it's a problem with men, why do you have to solve every thing in every discussion? It doesn't have to be solved. But going to this, <laughs> this is just how men think. So women, we actually communicate because we want to connect with you. We want you to be part of the experience. We want you to be part of the whole and connect with you. Part of the you. experience of the whole five <laughs> topics and the 19 conversations that's going on right now. Yes. So, yeah. <laughs> so women do it to connect. To um, They don't necessarily need a problem solved in each of these areas. They want you to feel the flow of this connection and how it triggers emotional things or it triggers memories or how because we've both experienced this right we are now closer so just so women know when your husband leaves that conversation about all these things and goes off somewhere to be by himself at least you know he's going there to cry because it was so overwhelming to him to try to take on all these different topics and not just work on one thing okay. and not not trying to solve the world's issues or problems for our children but i'm saying i don't necessarily feel and this is just me you men can chime in but i don't necessarily feel that it's something i have to fix but if we're going to be talking about this topic let's talk about this topic you Not like, yeah. all the topics that are around it. Yeah. So you, Does that so, make sense? So men get overwhelmed by when women are talking. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. we're trying to follow along. And if you keep jumping from box to box, we'll never follow. Okay. So. So here's the point of the book. And I think, or this chapter. And I think that this is probably the most amazing information that you're going to get to help solve this problem and fix it and guess what it is it's the simplest thing you've ever let's hear it take turns yeah that's brilliant so in conversation we're so what did he say um instead of taking turns listening to each other most couples spend their time trying to change each other so epiphany we need to learn how to listen and how do you listen so what happens is is on your side of the conversation you're coming at it like okay let's talk about this we need to fix these issues i'm coming at it like i want you to connect with me let's solve this together and while we're there we might as well discuss a bunch of other things too that we need solving but that's overwhelming so taking turns means that if the husband has initiated the conversation, ladies, we have to stay in the box. We cannot open too many boxes. So if your husband has um, initiated a conversation, you're lucky. He's about to talk to you. Don't mess it up by opening too many boxes. Yeah, somebody's about ready to talk and have a conversation. Yeah. So if your husband has come to you and wants to um, discuss something, then stay in that subject. If he's come to you to talk to you about the kids, then stay in that box and let him... What did she say? Whoever begins a specific conversation should be the one to set the pace for the conversation. So if the husband starts the conversation, he sets the pace, and he's, and you stay in his box. And we've got a dog over here. We'll be right to, back, and I'll edit this. <laughs>